بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله سبحان الله every year when the time approaches when Muslims celebrate the birth of the Prophet عليه الصلاة والسلام there come some people who say it is a bid'ah, an innovation let us first learn before we speak let us know that when Muslims commemorate the birth, the mawlid, of the best creation of Allah, we honor the Prophet ﷺ. We thank Allah for sending the Messenger ﷺ as a mercy. We recite the story of the birth of the Prophet ﷺ. We raise our children on loving the Prophet and following his methodology. All of these are permissible, good matters to do. And let everyone know that the hadith of the Prophet salam do not contradict each other. So the hadith in which the Prophet والسلام, said, Kullu bid'atin dulalah, it means most innovations are bad innovations. And it does not mean all as in the hadith of the Prophet السلام, Also here, Kul does not mean all eyes commit that sin, no. So the hadith of the Prophet do not contradict each other. The Prophet السلام, also said in a hadith, من سن في الإسلام سنة حسنة فله أجرها until the end of this hadith which means that whoever innovates in Islam a good innovation, this person receives its reward. This hadith is a sahih hadith narrated by Imam Muslim. So the hadith of the Prophet, again, I say, do not contradict each other. And none of the Muslim prominent scholars objected to celebrating the Mawlid. On the contrary, they concurred that. And there are many of those prominent scholars. Among them is Al-Hafiz Al-Suyuti, Al-Hafiz Al-Iraqi, and many others. Hence, not every innovation is a bad innovation. For there were many innovations that were started by Muslims, and the Prophet ﷺ did not do them. Yet the scholars did not object to them, and there are many examples of these. Among them is what our master Umar ibn al-Khattab عنه, when he gathered the people to pray at Taraweeh in congregation. And this was not done at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. Afterwards, Umar said, He called it a bid'ah, an innovation, and he praised it. He said, indeed, this is a good innovation. And this was one example. Also, the mihrab, which is nowadays in the mosques, this was not present at the time of the Prophet ﷺ. There were also innovations done by the tabi'een, the followers of the companions. Among them is the punctuation of the letters in the mushaf. Nowadays, all of us, when we read in the mushaf, we read the words which have punctuation. This was not done at the time of the Prophet ﷺ, nor at the time of the companions. Rather, it was done afterwards. So whoever claims that any innovation is a bad innovation, or claims that celebrating the Mawlid is sinful, is not at the level of our master Umar and this person will never reach the level of Umar. Hence, we follow what the Messenger السلام, said in his hadith, which clearly states that there are two kinds of innovations, and there is proof from the doings of the scholars and from the Sahaba and from the followers of the Sahaba of that. So, following the Prophet السلام, is what we do. We celebrate the Mawlid, the birth of the Prophet السلام. We thank Allah for sending the Prophet السلام, as a mercy. And whoever claims that this is something sinful, they do not have any proof from the religion. Therefore, they are not to speak from their own mind. All they say is that the Prophet السلام, did not do it and the companions did not do it. 
And just because they did not do that does not mean that it is sinful. The hadith of the Prophet suffices. Following the Prophet ﷺ is what we do and following the righteous companions and their followers. And Allah Ta'ala knows best.